Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope you're doing really well. Today we're going to be doing an intervention of sorts for this one right here. Paco Rabanne Invictus. Yay, my favorite. I've talked a bunch of times about Invictus on this channel and how it's not really my favorite as far as the DNA of the scent goes. And unfortunately, nowadays, it seems like 50% of men's releases, new men's releases, have some kind of Invictus DNA in them. So today we're going to be talking about Invictus and why it should just go ahead and keep it in its pants. Invictus, you're having too many children. You gotta stop. Like I said, in case for some reason you're unaware, Pacroban Invictus style fragrances are everywhere. <laughs> They're literally everywhere. They're spreading like uh, an apocalyptic zombie plague. It seems like every single fragrance house has to come out with a fragrance that smells like Invictus, but wait for it, wait for it, with a twist. <laughs> what, a twist? Yeah, yeah, a twist. So you smell it and you're like, hey, that's kind of like Invictus, but not exactly, because this one has a little more fruit. Oh, whoa. Or maybe it's uh, very slightly darker. <laughs> Amazing. At first it was uh, kind of cute. Right? You had a couple houses who watched Paco Rabanne and the success that they had with Invictus and they said, hey, I like success. I'm gonna do that too. So at first, you know, I was a little more forgiving. Other people were a little more forgiving. It was just kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, Invictus, but a little different, fair enough. But by the 50th release that came out, and was Invictus with a twist. You know, you get to the point where you're just like, can't you not, please, just, no, no, please. And then you get to the point where you're just like, I don't know, yeah, that's supposed to be drinking uh, an adult beverage, not drinking Invictus, you get the idea. Dole the pain of another Invictus release. Mm. So let's run through some of those really quickly, just so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'm not gonna go through all of them because then the video would be like 40 minutes long of me just holding up a bottle after bottle that has some sort of Invictus DNA in it. Typically, it's gonna have that bubble gummy sort of opening, which is very, very specific to Invictus. If you smell this once, you'll know what I'm talking about. So if you've never smelled it, just go to your local Sephora or wherever, you know, wherever fine fragrances are sold and go ahead and give it a couple sprays. Oh yeah, there it is. It's sweet, it's fresh, brisk, youthful, bubble gummy, it's Invictus. And I know I like to take shots at Invictus, I do, but it's really not a bad fragrance for what they're going for here. You know, a youthful fragrance that's a compliment puller that lasts, that projects. It does all of those things so, so well, and that's why it sells so much. So it's not at all a failure. It succeeds completely with what Paco Rabanne wants to do. And uh, I can't hate on it for that. Do I like to wear it? No. Do I understand that it's enormously popular for a good reason? Oh yeah. So while I don't personally like to wear it, as a fragrance, huge success. Does everything that it wants to do and smashes it. I think though at this point, even Paco Rabanne wants to do something different because they've come out with all these flankers, you know, Invictus Aqua, oh, and then Invictus Aqua again, Invictus Intense, Invictus Legend. And then they said, yeah, let's do something different. And they came out with Invictus Victory, which thankfully doesn't really smell all that much like Invictus. So even Paco Rabanne is over it, but you know, I'll keep getting sidetracked. Let's go through some of these fragrances so I can show you what I'm talking about. Azaro Wanted. This one, at least for me, is the first one that pops into my mind as a major release from another major fragrance house where they obviously took the idea of Invictus and gave it a little twist. So this one, Azaro Wanted, is what kind of kicked everything off. This one, just like Invictus, is a huge compliment pulling fragrance. It sells pretty well at least to the best of my knowledge, and you can usually get it for a pretty good discount at online discounters. So as Zara Wanted comes out, hey, not so bad. Very different bottle. Some people love it, some people hate it. Personally, I think it's cool. And it did Invictus with its twist. So this one comes out, everyone goes, huh, okay. Got a little hate initially, 
that died off. Then you have fragrances like Legend Spirit, which I'm not gonna go grab right now, but Legend Spirit by Mont Blanc smells similar to Invictus Aqua, only much more affordable. So again, that one comes out, people say, hey, respected house, fragrance isn't too expensive, cool, we'll roll with it. And then you have things like Jimmy Choo Man Intense, a little bit similar, and uh, Jimmy Choo in general kind of flies under the radar, so that one didn't catch too much hate. I think, for me, the turning point started to be with this one, Icon Racing by Dunhill. Now, as of today at Discounters, this is pretty affordable, just like the Azaro that we talked about, like the Jimmy Choo. So it's not really the price here, it's just, I think with this one, it became more and more obvious that it wasn't gonna stop, that the Invictus fragrances were just gonna keep coming. And again, like most of the ones on here, it's Invictus with a twist. It's not a one-to-one -one Invictus, but it's close enough that when you spray this on, you'll be like, I've smelled something kind of like this before. What is it? Oh yeah, it's Invictus. So this was the turning point. And you would think at this point that they'd be done. <laughs> that these fragrance houses, well-respected fragrance houses, wouldn't still be coming out with Invictus fragrances. You'd be wrong. Even Armani got in on the action. Aqua de Joe Absolute. And then Victor and Rolf. What did they drop as the new Spice Bomb flanker? Night Vision, Eau de Toilette. A little bit of a similarity to Invictus in this one too. So it's gotten to the point where fragrance houses are now making Invictus style fragrances as really prominent releases as flankers of their main lines. It's like, what? <laughs> People will sometimes hate on Paco Rabanne, but you've got to understand that Paco Rabanne did something so successful here that even houses like Victor and Rolf or Giorgio Armani are just blatantly taking that idea and reworking it and putting it into their most prominent lines trying to cash in. So all of these fragrance houses are just looking at Paco Rabanne make money and they're like, copy that homework now, I need the money. And then you have houses like Zara, they have five different versions of Invictus or something at this point across all of their many, many, many lines. Our moth has multiple fragrances that smell like Paco Rabanne Invictus. So if you start getting into like the straight up clone side of things, yeah, you've got probably dozens at this point to pick from. You could legitimately make a top 25, maybe even top 50 list of Invictus style fragrances. I think that it is right up there with Creed Aventus as far as how many times it's been knocked off. And what really made me want to do this video is I got in this right here, 212 Heroes, which this bottle looks like Somebody at Paco Rabanne designed it while they were having a fever dream. It's like one million had a, a lovemaking escapade with a, a skateboard. Uh, so anyway, I get this in and uh, you know, give it the old, the old spray. And kind of Invictus-y. But uh, never fear, it's not exactly Invictus. There's uh, a little bit of a green note in there is the twist. So when I got that in and I sprayed it on, I just thought, man, again, again. <laughs> and before 212 Heroes, I would say the one that really annoyed me was Valentino Womo, Born in Roma. So the Valentino Womo line was really well respected, had some killer fragrances in that line. What do they do? They say, hey, you know this, this whole line, this whole idea that we've been basing these fragrances around? Kill all of that. Come out with Born in Roma and make it Invictus. And it's not just these fragrances I've shown you. That's the tip of the iceberg. There are so many more out there. You can look it up on your own if you want to. Abercrombie and Fitch has one. Kenzo has one. Davidoff has one. Almost, almost every fragrance house at this point has an Invictus style fragrance. And part of the frustration that I have anyway, is that that DNA is done to death. And these brands that are coming out with Invictus style fragrances now, it's, it's like, man, 
you are years late to the party and you are still investing all that money to have this made just to knock off something else that's been knocked off so many times already. How about go to the drawing board, come up with your own fragrance DNA, something new, something interesting. That would be cool. But instead of that, we get flanker after flanker after flanker after flanker after flanker after flanker. That just smells like uh, an uninspired take on a fragrance that's been selling like crazy to teenagers for years. And you might not agree with me. You might think, hey, Invictus, I love it. Love it to the moon and back. And every single Invictus style fragrance that comes out, I own. I have 50 Invictus style fragrances and uh, I wear them like some people wear Aventus batch code variations where every morning you wake up and you're like, hmm, what style of Invictus will I have today? I know, I'll take that Invictus that has slightly more grapefruit. Perfect. Like I said, I'm not trying to bust on you if you love Invictus. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome fragrance for what it was made to do. And you can tell, you can tell by how many <laughs> brands are knocking it off. Brands won't do that if the fragrance sucks. If it sells, if people like it, this is what you get. I'm more so poking fun at all the brands that instead of trying something new, are doing this. So, Paco Rabanne, Invictus, if you could just keep it in your pants, quit reproducing with every single fragrance house out there, I mean, that's kind of, you know, kind of uncool, really. Paco Rabanne Invictus thinks that it's cool to have this many orphan children. I don't think that's very cool. I mean, it's already got its Invictus children right in the same line. Take care of those. I mean, this is... <sighs> Good luck affording that child support. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. If you love Invictus children, let me know in the comments below if you're fed up with all the Invictus children just running around wild willy-nilly doing whatever they want. Let me know that too. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there. See you tomorrow with another fragrance video.